Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about these score streaks that are coming to Black Ops Cold War Zombies. As we see in the Black Ops Cold War reveal for Dimashine, one of the characters pulls out a computer and calls in a chopper gunner that mows down a large crowd of zombies. Also during the reveal video, the developers confirmed that score streaks are going to be universal across Black Ops Cold War. This gets me excited to see how score streaks can add to the playstyle of Black Ops Cold War Zombies. As we saw, there was the chopper gunner, and maybe there's a predator missile or a cruise missile. Maybe a Wilson type of score streak like we saw back in Modern Warfare, but this time a zombies version of it. Who knows, the possibilities are really endless. This also brings up the question of how you actually earn score streaks, because as we all know in multiplayer, you need to get 5 or 6 or 7 kills to earn a score streak because you get a certain amount of points per kill. But for zombies, you're constantly racking up points to open doors, buy perks, buy guns, things like that. So the way that I see it happening is a similar system to the modern warfare survival, where you have buy stations and you can buy certain score streaks with the money that you earn from killing the waves of enemies. I think that's a very plausible outcome because, number one, we've seen it before in previous games, albeit it was an Infinity Ward game and not a Treyarch game, but Still, the mechanic can be carried over. And of course, instead of money like we got in Modern Warfare Survival, it would be the points that you earn from killing zombies. Perhaps maybe a chopper gunner costs 9,000 points, or a cruise missile costs maybe 7,000 points, you know, things like that. And because we're playing zombies and not multiplayer, us zombies players gotta think about which score streaks might not kill as efficiently in the later rounds. Will the chopper gunner stop being as efficient on round 50? Will maybe a cruise missile not kill the entire horde near round 40? You know, these are all things we have to take into consideration. So it'll be very interesting to see how different players play the game and what score streaks they equip for their personal playstyle. Because at the end of the day, that's what this comes down to. I believe score streaks were added into Black Ops Cold War Zombies to provide an extra way to play the game. Find a new, innovative way to have fun with zombies. Along with the plethora of other new features that are going to be added to Black Ops Cold War Zombies, I think Score Streaks is a step in the right direction. Make the entire game integrated. That's what I think is really cool. The campaign is going to tie into zombies in some way because we have Grigori Weaver as one of the main characters for the zombie storyline this time around. So why not add some multiplayer features into zombies? All in all, I think there's a lot to look forward to for score streaks being added to Black Ops Cold War Zombies, and I'm excited to dive into the game and test them all out on November the 13th. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more out of me, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're a brand new viewer, and don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter as well as joining my Discord server so you stay up to date with everything that I do. With that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.